previously. But I just didn't know I was gonna rip everything off. That was so bad. <laughs> Pretty okay, but like unnecessary work. Initial D. These are my new favorite shades ever. Look, you're seeing green. I am. Um, mainly meant to block really, really bright lights, like if you're welding. I'm using them as sunshades. So what we're doing here, you guys probably have an idea. It's a little ramp for low cars. I don't know why I haven't done this earlier on. Uh, it just makes it easier so I don't have to keep putting wood planks underneath the cars and then like going from one side to the other. It just takes time. I'm trying to make it more efficient for myself. I mean, good enough. <laughs> hi, Sophie. I'm gonna say hi. Hello. <laughs> yes. What's up, homie? Can I wish you my bite? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So usually how I start these fixes is with a big glop of Bondo mix with a decent amount of hardener cream so it dries faster. Now for me, the forming mostly comes from using a clean squeegee. Or in this case, I just cut up a cereal box into many rectangular and triangular pieces to use as my straight edge. Now after waiting for the resin to fully cure, it was time to finesse the fixes. Moment of truth. Beauty. Nice. So here we're going over the tiny pinholes with spot putty, however many times you feel necessary or when the surface is relatively smooth to the touch. Remember, imperfections in this stage will likely show through the wrap. Now after test fitting the fixed parts, and all is good, it's time to replace our nut suits. The 
This time we'll be using some epoxy to help keep it in place. You probably want to initially do this whenever you're installing a wide body kit on plastic pieces. Well, it's like nothing even happened at all. Damn. Mm. What was funny is on this side, we decided to do it in carbon. Just the bottom part. Just wanted to make sure this was matching. And also, the weave actually goes in the same direction as the door garnish. It's the small details. I think I'm gonna end this video, guys. It's been grueling two days um, in the span of however long this video is, but I'm gonna get my rest tomorrow. We drive three hours to Edmonton for Driven this weekend. Uh, figured we'd head up there a day early, just so no rush, you know, just casual drive up. Just wanted to make sure that this thing was in one piece. Because uh, my friend Brett is actually going to be driving this. I'm going to be driving the FRS, which I actually I have it in pieces right now. Put the grill back on so the intercooler is kind of protected. I was to respray paint this black, including the emblem. So, um, yeah, just a few minor touch ups on the FRS before I go to bed. Then I can rest easy. If you want to get updated when new videos come out on this channel, hit that sub button. Do me a favor, drop a like, leave some good vibes in the comments. If you have any questions, ask away. And uh, maybe I'll do a Q&A uh, sometime in the near future. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you guys in the next one.